Tonight, an investigation is underway. A man dead after a gun battle in Cimarron City, that's just south of Crescent, and who police say fired the fatal shot may surprise you. News 4's Austin Brissett picks up the story from there. This has been a continued act of terror that this guy has put on this family. A long history for a man Logan County Sheriff Damon Devereaux says was found dead in the backyard of this rural Logan County home after a shooting around 7:15 Tuesday morning. The suspect uh, did enter the back door. The family, uh, you know, shots were fired towards the victim or the suspect, and uh, he he left the house. And it's that point in time that we believe he, he, he killed himself. Devereaux says he also parked his car somewhere else before walking to the home. The man was wanted out of Cleveland County and, as Devereaux said, had a rough history with the family at the home. He kidnapped uh, members of the family, took him out of state. A manhunt ensued, including multiple agencies. They found him and arrested him at one point, but he bonded out on $250,000 and had a condition on wearing an ankle monitor. But he didn't adhere to that. They were in the process of getting warrants for that, too, and had a hearing on Wednesday. Lost contact with his bondsman and was basically on the run. Devereaux says they sent out information to several agencies that he had gone off the grid. We're trying to, trying to do everything we can to prevent something like this from happening, but the reality is there's bad people out there, and, and they're going to do bad stuff. And sadly, this is one of those days where the, you know, the, uh, the bad guys showed up. They lost contact with him for about 25 days, and he eventually showed up at the home. Devereaux adding that he's just happy the family was able to defend themselves. I, I commend them for holding their ground and protecting their house. In Logan County, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. And again, they say the suspect they believe shot himself. The sheriff says the man who was killed is Delbert Trey Middleton. We'll have more on him and his history tonight at 10.